All right, I have an Ear Troll RD600, and the display is like blinking, which is indicates a failure mode of some sort. And the test for that is to basically go put it into a manual setting, set like a time, and then try to do manual, and it'll basically controller will go back to off. Um, simple test for see if your solenoids are, are cause the grief is get a volt ohm meter and pull the resistance between the common and your zone. So I got two two types of valves in here. I got um, I got uh, ear troll and then rainbird. So let's see if we can't get the this is a this is a ear troll valve, which looks like it's about 26 ohms. Then my rainbird solenoids valves will be a little bit hot. The resistance will be a little higher. Actually, I want the resistance between the co common and the zone. So it's around 42 ohms for one of those. This is also a rain a rainbird. It should be around 42 ohms. This is an ear troll 2400 on zone two and here's our common so that would be around 28 ohms and this is also an ear troll 2400 and it's around 28 ohms so we don't have any shorts on there so there's something wrong with this controller uh thing is 15 years old uh there's folks that will actually repair them but uh it's the path of least resistance would be basically uh, just go and buy a new one at Home Depot. All right.